Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve the question number 5 from exercise 3.2, chapter 3, pair of linear equations and two variables. In my previous videos, I have completed the questions 1 to 4 from the same exercise 3.2, examples 1 to 6 and exercise 3.1. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box. Please let us begin with the video. Question number 5 from exercise 3.2, chapter 3, pair of linear equations and two variables says, half the perimeter of a rectangular garden whose length is 4 meters more than its width is 36 meter. Find the dimension of the garden, right? So, find the dimensions means we have to find out the length and breadth of a garden where they have given us half the perimeter of a rectangular garden. So, here we have a rectangular garden, right? What does the word perimeter of a rectangle means? Perimeter means the length of all the four sides will give you the perimeter. For example, if we have the length as x and breadth as y if you are taking, then the perimeter is given by x plus x plus 4 plus 4. We have to add all the four sides. So, here we get the perimeter as 2x plus 2y. This is the perimeter of a rectangular garden. Okay. So, Again, they have given us one more condition whose length is 4 meters more than its width and the perimeter is 36. So, using these conditions, we will form the pair of linear equations and then we will find out the value of length and width or breadth. Since we have to find out dimensions that is length and width, let us assume the length to be x and width to be y. So, write down let the length of rectangular garden be x and breadth or width be y. So, according to the question, the first condition is half the perimeter of a rectangular garden is 36. Perimeter of a rectangular garden is given by 2x plus 2y. So, here since they are saying as the half the perimeter. So, let us take half of this value that is 2x plus 2y which is the perimeter of the rectangular garden. Okay, So, half of 2x plus 2y is equal to how much? 36. So, now let us take this 2 common from the brackets. So, if you take 2 outside, you will be left with x plus y equal to 36 and this 2 and 2 will get cancelled and you will be just left with x plus y equal to 36. Let this be equation 1. Now, similarly, the second condition which is given is length is 4 meters more than its width, right? So, what is the length? Here we had assumed the length to be x. So, length is equal to 4 meters more than its width, right? 4 more, that is 4 plus than its width. Width here is y. So, this can also be written as, let us send this y to left hand side. So, we get x minus y equal to 4. So, let this be equation number 2. So, now let us solve these two equations 1 and 2 and find out the value of the length and breadth. As in the question, they have not mentioned that we have to solve graphically. So, we will use here the elimination method to find out the values of x and y. Write down from elimination method applying in equation 1 and 2. The first equation is x plus y is equal to 36 and the second equation is x minus y equal to 4, right? So, this is plus and plus here and here also we have plus and plus, right? Here we have plus and plus, so we have to add x plus x, you get 2x. Here we have plus y and minus y, so this will get cancelled, equal to, again we have plus 36 and plus 4, so we will take a plus sign and add these two values. So, that, so 36 plus 4 is 40, right? So, we got 2x is equal to 40. So, what will be the x value? That will be equal to 40. Sending this 2 to the right hand side, it will come in division form. So, cancel 2 1 times 2, 2 is a 4, 0. So, therefore, we got x value as equal to 20. Now, let us substitute this value of x in equation 1, right? So, write down substitute x equal to 20 in equation 1 so that we can find out the y value. So, from equation 1 we have x plus y is equal to 36. Substituting x equal to 20 plus y equal to 36. 
so y will be equal to 36 sending this 20 to right hand side will become minus 20 therefore y will be what is 36 minus 20 it is 16 so we got x value that is the length of the rectangular garden as 20 meters and the breadth or width of the rectangular garden as 16 meters right so write down therefore the length of rectangular garden is 20 meters and width is equal to 16 meters right it is very easy problem you have to form the pair of linear equation by reading the question properly and then you can find out the value of x and y by solving either graphically or you can use elimination method and also there is a substitution method that is used in our future exercises so either of these three method can be applied and, and x and y value can be found out so this is how we solve this problem. If you have any further doubts, do comment me below in the comment section. In my next video, I'll be solving question number 6 from exercise 3.2, chapter 3, pair of linear equations in two variables. So till then, do like my video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as I'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th SLC NSERT math. And also do watch the related videos of chapter 3, pair of linear equations shown on the screen. Thank you.